So when I made my top five aftermarket part or conversion kit video, I featured the DM56 jack signal burst. Some people were a little surprised by that, but make sure you use the jack signal burst with the DM56. That's all I'm going to say. The DM56 by default has a much better recoil pattern, which in turn will lead to better results. Ooh, that being one burst kills. You guys can see it in the firing range right now. Recoil is very limited and we're picking up one burst kills like crazy. As long as you're an accurate player, you should have no problems picking up very quick, fast TTK, one burst kills. So I suppose I should start with my first attachment, that being the Jack signal burst. It just turns it into a burst fire weapon. I don't think I really need to talk about it or even go into the statistics. It just controls recoil while also turning it into a burst fire weapon. For my next attachment, I have the Jack Glassless Optic to control fire aiming stability while also having a normal reflex sight. As always, it is a preference, but the Jack Glass like in, the, in this particular case is a very good choice simply because it controls a lot of the shake on the weapon. For your stock, you're gonna want the Holger Recoil Pad because it's gonna give you an insane amount of recoil control. 9% here to the gun kick, 14% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control, sacrifice of 5% to the ADS, but in my opinion, that is a fair trade-off. For my magazine, I'm using the 40 round mag. If you're running around with this thing, you're not exactly being the most aggressive. In fact, you're probably gonna be keeping your distance a bit, but, I like to have those bullets because, I mean, no one likes running out of ammo. Sure, it sacrifices ADS and movement, but at the same time, it, I don't know, just a comfortability factor. It's a preference. You can go with the 30 round mag and I guess the 20 if you want to, but I suggest trying at the 40 first and foremost. In our final attachment here is the quartermaster suppressor. I've talked about it. I'm a broken record. Recoil control and the ability to stay off the minimap a ton of recoil control. 10% to the gun kick, 10% to the vertical recoil control, 23% to the horizontal recoil control. This attachment alone really helps this weapon and it's really going to increase your ability to one shot kill just simply due to accuracy factors. So as always, here's all those attachments on the screen. I understand this may not be my most popular video ever, but it's definitely one you should guys should at least jump into game with. I don't recommend jumping in a shipment. That might be a mistake, but maybe some of the medium sized map, maybe even shoot house if you want to. I think you guys are going to pick up some kills and be rather surprised with the TTK of this weapon. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. I want you guys to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Uh, just help pushes the video to other people help grow the channel it's a free way of supporting the channel let's just leave it at that let's jump into the gameplay to see what well my m8a1 or burst dm56 i like to call it the m8a1 kind of has that appearance kind of has that feel uh, i'm talking too much let's get into it so i wanted to revisit the jack signal burst here in modern warfare 3 because apparently it got a secret buff to the dm56 version the holger 556 still isn't that great but the dm56 version apparently is a one burst machine if you're accurate so i wanted to put that to the test and it reminds me a lot of the m8a1 simply due to like the burst delay, the one burst potential, things like that. So it's got a lot going for it, actually. I have yet to get a one burst, but that's simply due to my accuracy, I would say. There's a one burst. There's a one burst. Oh, baby. Is this guy going to come this way? If I get in a close range engagement, things could get sketchy. I'm going to hit our loop around here. See what we can find. All right. I'm unsure of the spawn situation at the moment. I think they would have flipped because we're approaching the next hill. They're probably all going to be over here, actually. Okay, they're not getting any objective time at the moment. Kind of concerning, because I'm kind of on a banger game right now. Wait, right here? Yeah, they're not getting any time. Holy crap. Gotta watch my back here. They've contested a good amount of time, I will say that. Contact. 
All right. All right, bro. All right, now they're getting some time. That guy's mic is atrocious. I can't push forward until these guys are dead. They're kind of taking over this area of the map here. I'm going to go this way. I can't believe I got that kill. My team's getting or my team is next level torching them. Like it's next level. I don't even want to hit this. VTOL, it's just not worth it. You can round this corner if you want to. I can't exactly run at them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for kill sake. My goodness. That guy gone? Where are you? Are you back here? I don't know. That guy oh. Did that guy leave? Enemies inside the perimeter. Hard point Secure the target area. Ammo here. A ton of time, but they're just not really playing the objective, so. Requesting close air. Wait. You missed me. Now I got a good secondary weapon too. Need recon overhead. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. I'm with you. inside the perimeter. Don't help me out. Oh my god. Rolling stem text. Loading fresh mag. This guy, I think, is going to be on the accusing me of cheating train if I had to guess. It sounds like he wants to rage really bad. Over here. Changing max. The one burst is insane. Well, now I got no bullets. I am somehow still alive. Oh, 
I am somehow still alive! I spoke too soon. I'm somehow not still alive, but that is insane. All right, time is winding down. I got a nuke it. Requesting MGV. Danger close approach. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think a couple of these are sus, but advanced UAVs aside, like it is very, like it makes sense. Like it, when you see it on my screen, it makes sense why I'm pre-aiming all these things. But like I could totally see from an opposing view why it looks like I'm kind of cheating. Like I get it. I don't know. Complete.